Hi folks, and welcome back to Meaningful Money. Here I am again on Drift Dam in my best bib and tucker because I'm uh, on my way to work and I have client meetings today. I'm going to carry on talking about getting out of debt, the most important step uh, in your financial life, the best thing you'll ever do. Before I go into the detail though, my friends down here in the bottom right, Seven Investment Management who continue to sponsor me and put their name to what I'm doing here on Meaningful Money. So I'm very grateful. Thanks guys. Okay, we talked about the debt snowball last time. That's Dave Ramsey's idea. He wrote a book called The Total Money Makeover, which I've reviewed on this site. Do look at that video. Can't remember what episode it is, sorry, um, because it's a brilliant book. The snowball gathers momentum and it pays off your debt uh, quickly and aggressively. And it's an exciting process, you know, as you see those smaller debts get paid off first and you start to get statements through with zero balances from your credit card uh, companies. It's exciting. The process works best for credit cards and store cards because they tend to be the highest interest debt anyway, so you should pay those off first. Once you've done that, then the same process can just as easily be applied to a personal loan. Um, usually personal loans have got fixed monthly payments, but you may be able to overpay them. So if you can, then that's uh, so much the better. And then overdrafts if you've got one of those as well. So there are a couple of ways you can accelerate the uh, debt snowball effect. The first one is to find every single penny you can in your budget. The process is exciting and so you will find yourself wanting to put as much against your credit cards as you can to get rid of them quickly. Um, and so you'll find, even if it's an extra 10 or a month or 15 quid a month, something like that, you'll find that and it helps. It will uh, significantly you know, decrease the time it takes to pay off your debts. Sell whatever you can. We talked about that when we were building our starter emergency fund. Find stuff in your loft and eBay it. Put the money against your debt. That'll be a good feeling. Keep the second job that you took when you were building your emergency fund too. You know, if you can earn 100 quid a week extra to what you are now by doing maybe a couple of evenings and a Saturday job, something like that, then you, know, you could pay off a 20 grand credit card in less than five years, potentially much less than five years, just using that extra money. Um, wouldn't that be fantastic? 20 grand, people feel like they're drowning with 20 grand worth of credit card but you, uh, debt, but you can get rid of it. If you're intentional about it, you're prepared to work hard and take it seriously. You know, cut up the credit cards. I'm convinced that by the end of the debt snowball process, you will understand that you never need a credit card ever again in your life. Credit cards tend to get used for um, sort of on-spec purchases, uh, purchases that you haven't thought about, that you sort of um, suddenly feel like you need when you get to a shop and see that lovely new camera that you want to buy or whatever it is, or handbag, whatever. Um, but you don't need to. They tend to be purchases which are not thought through. So instead, leave your credit card at home. If you must have one, then keep it, but don't keep it in your wallet. Keep it in your drawer, and then it's not there to make sort of uh, on-spec uh, purchases. Instead, only use it to make purchases that you've thought through and then pay it off immediately. But I reckon you'll understand that you never need credit card again and that you'll be able to live differently to all your friends and family by living debt free for life. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Living differently, spending differently, thinking differently. It's about living differently now so, you know, uh, so that you can live differently in the future because you are uh, financially secure. Next time I'm going to talk about why cash is king, a little bit more detail on why I think it's possible to live debt free for life. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.